What's up guys? So before this reading begins, it's just a quick message. Um, this reading is for energies who are, it could be the masculine or the feminine or both, but that needs to make a decision. And spirit is calling for us to make a decision because our lives are about to change and things are going to manifest quickly. Therefore, in order to keep the opposition from stealing your joy, from stealing your inheritance, from stealing your connection with your divine masculine and feminine, we have to be in the energy of the king of swords, which is decisive, clear, clarity of thought, knowing what you want. So set your objectives as it, as it pertains to life, career, business, manifestations, desires, and your divine partner, who it is that you would like to be with and stick with it. And I just wanted to do this quick message. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Um, my, my name is Ash is God on this girl on Instagram. Follow me there if you would like. But I just wanted to do a quick message before this reading so that um, you can understand the energy of spirit before you watch it. So it's leading you to a spirit of decisiveness, but some of you may be in the spirit of anxiousness, anxiety, and not knowing and not feeling good enough. And I really feel like that's the masculine's energy. So again, enjoy the reading. Thank you for watching. Views, likes, subscribes, comments. I appreciate you. Peace. What's up, God? Um, today I want to do a reading, a twin flame reading, just to check on the energies. My Libra season readings have started manifesting in my life personally, like blessings 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 unexplainable blessings which means it's spiritual right it does have um it's when something happens and you're blessed with something and people are like oh it's too good to be true or it's you know it's spiritual it is true and it's happening because it's manifested through spiritual means so anyway oh i am having trouble i feel like my hormones is wreaking havoc on my hairline right now. But anyway, this reading was brought to you by AshleyGiller.com. Master Manifest a Cheat Sheet. Click the link in my description to learn spiritual principles to manifest anything you want. Um, that's positive and that could help enhance your life or other people's lives in a positive way. So without further ado, let's do some reading on the energies. I want to pull some oracle first. Which oracles am I drawn to? Yeah, let's see. This one. I've been wanting to read this for some a while. So we're just gonna pull some oracle to see like the main energies of masculine and feminine at this time. Let's see. Happy birthday to the Libras. My birthday is Tuesday. I'm excited about it now. Now that I manifested a beautiful house, I'm excited or spiritually blessed with a beautiful house. Mmm. Stop criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. And I'm getting um, heavy masculine energy here. Because, and the reason why I say that a lot of my readings the masculine is under immense amount of pressure right now and the masculine is masculines are not feeling good enough for the feminines something is happening in their lives that's making them down themselves or making them feel like they aren't good enough but p women or people or who are in feminine energy we don't look at the outer things we have inner knowledge and knowing and intuitive um discernments so we can discern a person not based on what they have but who they are so while masculines they're missing that point we know that feminines are um, a little more advanced as it pertains to enlightenment and spirituality so those who embody the feminine energy may know these but the masculines are getting in touch with their feminine energies and may not understand fully Sorry, I know why my computer is messing up now. It's these notifications I'm getting from these websites. I need to clear my cookies and clear these notifications. But anyway, um, these masculines don't understand fu fully the process. So they're learning it, but they're just in an energy they don't feel good enough. Hmm. Look at this. Sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night. The strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night. Let me see if I can stop these websites from 
this is really getting ridiculous and I need to figure out how to stop this. How do I stop this? I'll figure it out another time. Okay, so do I need to pull any more work? No. I start pulling some tarot to help me with this message. The messages are within. The tarot cards help you to relay the message and understand what knowledge you already have within. Hmm, should I take all of these? That's, they, they're all trying to come. There's a lot of cards, but I'll take them. Three of Wands. I feel like the Three of Wands is like willpower. So, you know, masculines gathering the will to try something or to begin something, this new cycle of life, um, to overcome obstacles and just begin again. Mm hmm. 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 You know, this energy. So, observation, quick observation. Five of Swords here. The Five of Swords indicates, again, competition, being in the energy of overcoming competition. It's a competitive environment, right? Then we have the Five of Pentacles. Both of these add up to 10, which is new beginnings, endings and new beginnings. Um, but this also adds that to begin is to also end. So you're in this competitive energy of choosing one because you know that in order to begin with one, you have to end with another. Then we have Knight of Wands, and I'm just going to sit that there, lingering over this entire situation. Let's move this stuff so you can see. You have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. This is the second time, second or third time this has came, came out for me when I'm doing readings. It's like a choice between the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. One who is nurturing, one who is um, abundant, and one who is also can be abundant but alluring and attractive. It's like being an energy, I don't know, of not knowing who to leave behind or who to, who to end with and who to begin with. And honestly, feeling some kind of way about this whole situation. Then you have the Empress, which is like, you know, baby mama energy. So this could really be a masculine who is trying to choose between three women. And it's crazy because most, a lot of the readings lately have been feminists choosing between three masculines, but now we're reverting back to masculines choosing between feminists, one who is abundant, one who is baby mom, mother, whatever, one who is alluring and attractive and being passionate about all of them having passion for all of them but knowing that you have to leave one behind i mean you have to leave several behind in order to choose one but perhaps the way that you want you don't feel good enough for so the masculine is like the one that i really want i i don't feel like i'm good enough to get so But, mm, but this is the energy of ready to enter a new phase of life with that person at the same time, but not feeling good enough. I don't know. This is low vibrational. This is super low vibrational energy. But, you know, we, we're not always in high vibes. You really can't judge people for being in low vibrational energy because we all have our days. We all have our days when we're not at our best. So, masculine's finding the will to begin again after suffering maybe a loss or having to go through a loss in order to begin with someone else. And it could be several people, again, losing several people and feeling some kind of way about it. Peace comes within. 
Peace comes from within. So you really just have to find peace within your situation, knowing that everything has happened for a reason and that whatever you gain is far greater than anything that you've lost. So let me pull some more energy. Let's just see um, anything else. I feel this is a heavy masculine reading. So I'm going to pull some of my cards that I use for the feminine and see if I can get anything else. Because while the masculine is in this energy, what is the feminine in? Using my Clayton cards to help me get some messages for the feminine. Okay, Spirit, what's, what energy is the feminine in while this is going on? Hope you guys are doing well today. Please like, subscribe, comment, share my videos. Help me get my ratings up. I just don't. My channel is moving. Not as quick as I wanted to, but it's moving. Two of Wands. Seven of Wands. Seven of Swords. Ooh. Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Sometimes... I need to figure out this message because something is happening. Somebody is trying to take something from the feminine. And it's spiritual. These sevens, the seven, seven keeps coming up. Seven plus seven is 14. One plus four is five. So it's like spiritual completion and God's grace. But it's also um, someone trying to impede upon this. It's like someone strategizing to impede upon something that is spiritually given to the feminine. So it could be this divine partnership. So it's like an opposition somewhere is trying to impede upon this. And this is nine of swords. This energy of um, nine of swords is about being having anxiety. It's the same energy here. So whatever this energy is that the masculine in, it's like impeding upon this partnership. It's what, whoever is causing this anxiety or this energy of being not good enough and criticizing yourself is getting in the way of this divine blessing that is to come upon the feminine. And it could be this partnership. It could be this divine partnership. So maybe this indecisiveness, this feeling of unworthiness, this anxiety that the masculine is in is impacting the feminine. Because it could be time for the feminine to enter a new phase of life. But instead, these opposing forces is strategizing using this energy of anxiousness, this energy of anxiety, this energy of not being good enough to impede upon this partnership. But you got to stay in your ground. And then 27. 27. I keep getting 27. Oh, my, my. What did, what did 27 mean? I think 27 is about life as well. It's like new life. When that is blessed. So, if you're feminine... Or masculine. Avoid the energy of anxiousness, of anxiety, of not being good enough. Because you are. Don't let the opposition use your negative energies and doubts against you. Fight those. Get up and meditate. Be in good energy. Balance yourself. Because the divine wants to bless you. And wants to bless you with this partnership. But... You can be impeding upon your blessings by being in negative thoughts or negative energies. It's like, what? What can, what can we do? I need to know what can we do. Because I keep getting this in readings. If you've been watching my readings, you know that at 27 came up in another one of my readings as well. And also the opposition keeps showing up in these readings. Seven of Swords energy trying to keep us away from our blessings but we cannot continue to let that happen so i want to pull up um, I, we have to figure out what we can do to keep this from happening oh yeah it's light the number 27 is about light which makes sense because nine is humanitarian blessings gifts of the spirit 
um, spiritual tongue, spiritual blessing, spiritual fruit. It's like fruits of the spirit and things of that sort. So, and gifts of the spirit. So it's about light. Something is impeding upon our light because what can we do? What can we do? We can't let the opposition steal our joy. We can't let the opposition steal our blessings. We have to maintain positive energy, vibes, and thoughts so that these things that are manifesting in our life from the divine, from the spirit realm to the um, physical realm can manifest in the time we matter. We don't want to be the opposition in our lives, in our own lives. What is this? This is a lot of card spirit. Okay. Ooh. King of Swords. I, we can be clear with our thoughts. Clear with the things that we want. We can be decisive. King of Swords energy. Knowing who we are. Knowing our power. And what we can do. Excuse me. Knowing, being an energy of very clear mind, very sound minds, and knowing who we are and what we want. So let's let's make that a theme for the weekend. It doesn't matter if your masculine has come to you. It doesn't matter if, if people are currently fighting over you or not. If you know that it's coming, put yourself in the energy of being decisive so that when it does come, you're like, I know what I want already because I knew this was coming intuitively because I embody feminine energy. It's balanced and I know what I want. I mean, and I knew it was coming and I decided to take charge of that and use my intuition and make a clear decision. So this is what I want and this is who I want it with. Hmm. That's harder. That's, that's easier said than done, but you can do it. Ooh, you know why? Something is coming very click quickly. Look at this. Eight of Wands. Something is coming very quickly. You know what it is? Recognition. Stardom for some people. Fame for some people. Fortune for some people. Health for some people. Being true to yourself and one with yourself. Being a, a vessel of light on earth. A beacon of light to other people. Feeding other people daily bread, which is like motivating and inspire, inspiring other people, teaching them enlightenment. This is a new phase of life in which you will be operating in your gift. And it's coming. It's coming quick. It, it's coming quick. And guess what else came? Guys, all these major arcana, the world. The world. Listen, your world is about to be dope. So amazing. So your world is about to be amazing. And spirit wants you to choose who you want to be with. You have a choice. You can choose. If you could choose right now, who do you choose? One, two, three, choose. Ooh, a name came in my head. <laughs> oh my gosh. I already know who I want. Okay, so who do you want to choose? One, two, three, choose. Because when your life changed, when our life is our, it's coming very quickly and spirit wants us to be in the energy of the king of swords, knowing exactly who we want. When it comes, it's coming. Ain't no turning around. We got the maggots right after that. Listen, listen we had three in a row, major arcana. This is big things, hap big things happening in our lives. Major things, the star, the world, it's manifesting very quickly. Eight of Wands. It's coming real quick. Spirit is telling us to be in this energy of the King of Swords because it's happening. Because all of this is happening right now. And we have to be in that energy in order to know who we want in our life and who we don't want in our lives. Perhaps, I don't know what this is. Um, perhaps it's because the opposition is trying to take things from us. So in order for things to not be taken, decide what you want now. So that when everything manifests, it manifests with it. Listen, decide. Two of Wands, decide right now. I had another name that 
Um, but who fits in your mission? I love this Two of Wands energy because it just made me think. I just did one, two, three, choose, and I had another person in my head. But when I think of the Two of Wands energy, uh, and it, as it pertains to my mission on in life and what I want to do to impact the world, another person comes to my head. So it's like, think it through. Who fix in your life? This is a hurdle. This is not easy for me. I don't know if it's going to be easy for you. But you have to figure out this too. You have to figure it out for yourself. Decide now what you want. This could be about your life. This could be about partnership. Decide now. Ten of Pentacles. Because it's really time for you to enter that new phase of life. And you want to know who you want to enter it with. Maybe one decision requires more faith than the other. Hmm. Page of Wands. This could be who inspires you, but really I, a, a lot of the times with the Page of Wands, I get energy of like indecision. So it's like, instead of the, all of these, this is like spirit saying, these are all the things that's happening and it's about to happen now. So we need you to make a decision or be in a clear mind, a sound mind so that you can make a clear level headed decision, very clear about what you want so that you won't be in the energy of inaction and have it taken away from you, from the opposition. Cause and anxiety and frustration and the masculine or whoever's in this energy to not feel good enough. So decide. It's time to decide. Interesting. 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 Let's pull energy oracle. Oracle. To end this reading. Ooh, you fail. 36. Ooh, listen, the thinking woman, the thinking woman, make a decision. Think about it. Make a decision. Think about it. Second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Where is my energy oracle book? Let's look up the thinking woman first. Actually, the chakra one came up second chakra came first so archangel ariel brings the vibration promoting creativity get creative interesting let yourself reach into the unexplored areas of self-expression and new projects more creatively open yourself to emotional intimacy that may be coming your way that's more like that's more like the message for this reading Open yourself to emotional intimacy that may be coming your way. Nurture yourself and be ready to receive affection and camaraderie of the resonant souls around you. Mm. So emotional int intimacy coming our way. Emotional intimacy with in the temple path. This is this is about our journeys our twin flame journeys, our spiritual journeys. Then you have thinking women. So we have emotional intimacy and they want us to be in the thinking woman energy about this emotional intimacy that's coming our way. What do you want? Like, what do you want? Seriously, Ashley. Ashley, I'm talking to myself. But it says female of wisdom or understanding. Leading you to higher understanding. This woman could be a friend, blah, blah, blah. This also could be a new love interest with coming your way. <laughs> Not with a woman or with a man. Yes. This is also a side of yourself ready to bring clarity and assistance to your world. Find your voice and let your wisdom shine. So, I guess they want us to be in an energy of very clear minds. Both of these people. Clear minds. Masculine and feminine. Being a very clear mind. Decisive energy. It's an open to receive love. Knowing that we are good enough, knowing that we have what it takes, 
Um, but, you know, even if you feel like it's not happening right now, you never know what's going to happen in the next 30 minutes. Listen, yesterday, I went to sleep. I woke up. I tried to be in good energy, but I was kind of tired. But also, I was trying to fight, like, energy of doubt. I took an extra nap that morning because I felt myself being pulled into the energy of doubt. Woke up and was blessed with a beautiful home. Like, no down payment. I didn't put in the application. You know, someone contacted me. Like, when she met me, she knew she wanted to give me that house. Like, a beautiful, beautiful home. Like, living next to multimillionaires, doctors, like, very high-profile people in a very high-profile area. It's like, I almost, felt, I almost felt this energy of not being good enough. Not that I didn't feel like I was good enough, but like, am I in a season of my life? Should I be around these people? You know? But, um, so you never know what can happen within the next 30 minutes. Within the next minutes, it could be something amazing. This energy that's coming quickly, it's coming. It's coming. So, decide. Try to try to choose. Make a decision what you want and who you want it with. Anyway, guys, thank you for your likes, shares, comments, minutes, watched, views. Um, I really appreciate it all. And I pray that you're able to get through the energy that you're into a more positive and more clear mind and thought process and that you get the desires of your heart. I wish you love, I wish you light, and I wish you more life. Peace.